Welcome back to Switched to Linux. Well, today we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about the GDPR and the Google Analytics. Before I jump into this, I'm going to say GDRP a lot. It's a Freudian slip. I am walking on Freudian ice. Um, GDPR is the correct way. This relies uh, is that new uh, European data privacy thing, which has very good intentions, but is in an insanely annoying to completely and fully comply with. Um, now we could we could just I should have probably called this GDPR and cookies instead of Google Analytics. The reason I pick Google Analytics is I don't use a lot of cookies and a lot of different things, but I do install Google Analytics on several of the websites that I own and that uh, I build for other people. And one of the conditions in the GDPR is that all cookies must be opt in. And so I want to talk about a free and open source software package that does a decent job and I'll show you how it works and how I have it set up. So we're going to go ahead and have a look at uh, at this. This code is called Cookie Consent. It's by Insights. It is a free and open source application uh, and it allows you to put a uh, a banner at the bottom or on the top or on you know a push down or floating left or floating right basically it's a banner that you can put on on a website so you can see what it looks like at each one of these so this is a push down here's a floating left here's a floating right so you have a variety of different things that that you can do with the position um, and then you can pick your layout uh, so you can see what these look like here's an edgeless here's a wire doesn't look like the classic and the block is actually much different. Oh, okay, it just depends on do you have rounded corners on your button. <laughs> but it might make a difference. Uh, colorations, of course you can, do, uh, you can do a lot of your own customizations here, but you can see what your customization colors are. It turns out this is actually perilously close to one of my main sites to the Switch to Linux site. Um, there's uh, other things I want to do for my other one, but I spent most of my day uh, working out some bugs with this because there are a few issues and a few problems with it. Uh, we're going to walk through those. Of course, here is how you can do your own coloration. Um, learn more. So you can either go right to the link at cookies at you.com um, or you can link to your own privacy policy inside of your website. Um, and then compliance type. Um, now, the old way a lot of old sites uh, work is just tell users we're using cookies and deal with it, chum. Um, the problem is the uh, deal with it, chum option is no longer viable under GDPR. Uh, you have to give a person the option to allow this type of stuff or not allow this type of stuff. And the website has to function even if they opt out. That is why I say it's insanely stupid and it is short-sighted. Uh, in our modern age where cookies are on absolutely everything. And one of the biggest challenges that I see as a WordPress developer is there are so many plugins that add their own cookies that it's it becomes insanity. That's why when I build my sites, and if you're looking for a website, consider talking to me. I'll uh, talk to you about those services. Um, when I build my sites, I build everything custom ground up without uh, absolutely minimum plugins. Um, especially since I've seen a lot of uh, I've seen a lot of uh, Google Analytics plugins that start adding a lot of their own stuff and a lot of things that I think are um, probably the companies running the plugins are siphoning data off of your analytics while it's passing through, and so I never do that. So this allowed me to use, and you can do it for any type of cookies, or in this case, I'm using it just to work with Google Analytics. Um, so what you need to do is the preferred is the opt into cookies. This is the preferred that is essentially quote unquote required by GDPR. Um, and so you have that. You also have the, op the option to allow users opt out of using cookies. And so um, these are um, these are kind of the, the things that, that you need to keep in mind. And then of course we have, uh, this is the custom text, it's just the text that you have at the bottom of the site. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and have a look at some of this. Now here's where the errors seem to be is there does seem to be a problem with the opt-in appears to be mostly broken. And so I ended up building an opt-in for my site utilizing the opt-out. <laughs> <laughs> just by reversing a few things. 
So here is my main site and I have my um, my inspector panel up here. Storage is where cookies are going to appear. So if I come in here and I type you know, F5 it, you'll see that there's no cookies. So I have the option to deny cookies. Now the funny thing is if you deny cookies, then it sets a cookie. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> well, the thing is, is that this cookie qualifies as what is called a non, uh, excuse me, an essential cookie, uh, which is not considered under the GDPR. Uh, there is absolutely no user identifiable information in this cookie any way, shape or form. In fact, if you look at it, you can see the domain, you can see it set, and the on there it should say the only thing it says is deny. That is the only thing it says. Um, and that is supposed to toggle off all of the cookie function. Now, if I pull the cookie policy back up and I push allow, now you see the three Google Analytics scripts show up. Those are the those are the things that show up. So I can pull up my cookie policy and if I hit deny, it should knock those out. It doesn't knock them out as well as it should. So if I go into my cookies and view my cookies, you'll see those cookies are still there. I'm working on getting those completely taken care of. But for now, this site should be GDP compliant, uh, especially since I will have a link in my privacy policy within a day or two here that's going to have a place to click the button to delete all the cookies regardless. And so that's kind of what we are, um, uh, what I'm wanting to do. So there's a few things that were a little bit broken on this and the documentation is not entirely clear. So I want to walk you through what I did here. Um, so of course this gives you what the things do. This is not exactly what I would call documentation. This is a explanation. Um, so it's like, I know what in opt in and opt out are. I'm looking for how to actually apply it. So when you push learn more, this is the only bit of documentation we get. So what in the world do you do with this? That's kind of the question. So if we see we have the opt in, we have the opt out. Um, the other thing that that does is it's going to add this type opt in to your system. And so that's an important one. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you what the code on the site looks like. Um, so what we do is we come down to the bottom and inside my master footer, I'm going to have a script that is going to uh, look like this one here. So we're pulling in the style sheet from cookie consent right now I'm pulling it off of Cloudflare when I have this code finalized I'm going to be pulling that from Cloudflare and hosting it myself Which is what you should always do you want to minimize other domains that are loading stuff It gives you more control over what's there and if they alter this one um, I don't get any surprises someday um, and then it pulls in a, a jQuery file. So we got to make sure we have that. And then it loads in all of the variety of different options. So the one thing I needed to do is the dismiss button on the opt in appears to opt in. It's supposed to opt out or say deny or whatever else. Um, but what it happens is the basic uh, label here, this deny says dismiss. And this CC deny here, uh, originally in the code says CC dismiss. So putting this elements tag overwrites this so that I can make my dismiss actually a deny button. And then I gave it the title of deny cookies. Otherwise, this would say, got it, thanks. Okay, so to translate that, we're going to come back over to the site. Um, I'm actually going to clear all of the cookies from the site. Uh, reload the site and then look with my inspector you'll see if I hover over this button here you can see that it says down here CC deny the default of this says uh, got it thanks or it says CC dismiss and for whatever reason the opt-in function is broken and it is saying okay we are opting in the user has click the button and we're allowing it. It's not supposed to do that. So there's something in the script that is broken. So this is a workaround. If we do the, if we look at this one, you see it says CC allow. So what you need is I needed to write CC deny instead of dismiss and CC allow. There was supposed to be a way to drop the actual official deny button on the system. Uh, but it's not functioning either. So like I said, I have a good workaround. 
Um, oh, actually, I am still working under opt-in. That's that's right. I am under opt-in. I thought I was <laughs> my initial test had opt-out, but I had a problem clearing the cookies. Um, so opt-in now. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, under the opt in is I'm running my Google Analytics code here. And yeah, I know I'm showing my Google Analytics ID. So <laughs> that's a public code. So I'm running my uh, I'm running my analytics code. So this is what it is. You'll see that the only thing that I did from what Google gives you. Um, actually, no, this is a rewritten one uh, because the one Google gives you to paste into your website does not have the ability to anonymize your IP. Anytime analytics is running, you need to anonymize IP addresses. And so this is kind of the way that we're going to start seeing Google Analytics scripts show up. So um, here what I'm doing is I'm calling the function. The only thing that I've done is I've removed the script from the top and from the bottom because we don't need those. And then I have this is the code which is calling my uh, user uh, ID. Uh, this guy here is uh, anonymizing everything. And uh, this is what actually sends the information to Google Analytics. So the way this code is working is on the initialization, it is not going to load any cookies at all, and it's not even going to load analytics at all. So if a person lands on the page and does not click, click the allow cookies, Google Analytics never displays. Does this show up our numbers? Absolutely. And we're going to see Google Analytics become a seemingly irrelevant thing down the road because of this. Um, not completely, but for sure we're going to see a lot of that. Um, so then on a status change, so if the status of this changes, and this is the part that I'm still working on, if that changes, it checks is the type opt-in and is did consent come through as true. If that is the case, it will also load the scripts. And on revoke, which is anytime you are in opt-in and you are revoking permissions, what it's going to do is it's going to clear all of the cookies. So what we see is coming back over to storage, if I allow cookies, you'll see it's all there. Now if I pull this up and push deny cookies, they will actually clear out. Um, this one here, this console here is not as good as the console that's on my on my actual development computer, um, which actually shows me in, in real time how they're leaving. So that, like I said though, the challenge is they are still appearing on the user's computer. I'm still trying to get that part resolved, uh, but this should be um, GDPR compliant now because we're not actually getting um, we're not actually getting anything until a person actually accepts cookies. Um, and like I said, I'm going to have a button there to clear the cookies down the road. So this is the site um, that you want to go to. This is the only one I know of that wasn't trying to sell me a service to do this. Um, but like I said, there were a few things that weren't quite working right, and so I had to make a couple of little adjustments to it. Uh, primarily just changing um, the biggest change I did to the code was changing the dismiss button to be a deny button in in there. So that's kind of the the biggest change that I did. There was another one I was working towards, um, but I ended up abandoning that for this one because this one actually did seem to clear things out. So that is if you're dealing with GDPR in websites. Uh, of course, this uh, this could will work in any type of site. This is being run in a WordPress site right now, but it can run in any type of site. Um, all it is is just this this uh, really this one block of JavaScript um, involved in the in the system. So that is uh, that is how to make that work. Now we have an opt in opt out system that would work for any cookies. The thing is, is that what you need to figure out how to do is you need to figure out a how to clear your cookies and b how to run your code only when a person accepts and opts into that. And so that's kind of what what we're we're looking at here. So if, uh, like I said, if you are interested in getting a website put together, you can reach out to me. This is my business site at uh, Western, uh, westernmtnweb.com. There's a contact form over here. Um, you can leave me a message over here. It's a relay. Sometimes it's set to ring me. Oftentimes it just leaves a voicemail. Uh, so if you are looking to get a website built or if you need GDPR compliance put into your site, uh, let me know. I'll be glad to give you a free quote. And um, I guess with that, uh, thanks for watching.
I hope you enjoy switching to Linux. I hope you've enjoyed this video from Switched to Linux. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out the links at the top. There is another video over here. You can check out our Patreon page down here. And you can check out shop.switchtolinux.com for information on a t-shirt like this or some other designs. Thanks for watching and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.